Matt, not the result you wanted on Saturday, but a good performance that you can take some positives from. How have you been able to use that in training this week going into Saturday? Yep, certainly. I think um, I think you're exactly right. Not the result we wanted. We want we want to win um, sooner rather than later. But there's loads of positives to take from the performance. Um, so we tried to right some some wrongs from from giving the goal away and some other bits and pieces. But um, we were really pleased in some of the chances we created. Um, I thought our pressing shape was really good. The way we kept ourselves disciplined when um, when we didn't have the ball but also when we went and took the ball back uh, and attacked in, in high areas. So like I say there was lots of positives but we need to make sure that we take those positives from the performance and, and start moving that into results. And when you look at the the league results and the, the defeats that, that you've had bar the Barrow game there's only been a goal margin in it so psychologically does that, that help in any way? I mean you don't want to be conceding goals but, but to know you're not, not getting beaten by a lot of goals every week is that something that you can take knowing if you can cut that out you're, you're there yeah I think um, I don't want to t- sound like a broken record but I keep saying to the boys and keep saying to anyone who listen we're not far away we know that um, obviously we want the outcome we want the results but if you're not getting that you have to concentrate on the performance and the process which, we, which we're trying to do if we keep that going and moving that in the right direction then, then the results will come we have no doubt about that so you know, the most important thing for us is keeping the performance levels high, keeping the energy energy levels high. The belief and the, the positivity has to retain high levels. Um, and if we keep doing that and keep putting the performances on the table like we did last week, then then we know that results are just around the corner. And defensively, if there are just those narrow margins, it is a case of converting those chances. Are you happy with the number of chances being created? And is it more of a, a chance to, to goal ratio that you need to work on? Or do you, do you need those more chances to come? Yeah, all, all sides. We have to stop conceding so many chances. And I say that, there wasn't many at crew last week. They created one good opportunity and scored it. Um, so we have to make sure we, we keep the back door shut at, at all times, even if we're in the ascendancy, which we were last week. We've got to make sure that, worst case scenario, we come with a, a way of a nil-nil draw. If we don't you know, convert our chances, we, we keep the back door locked and we come away with a nil-nil draw. So, but at the same time, we do feel like we can create more chances. We, we're trying to work on all facets of the game. We want to improve in every area um, that we're doing. Um, so both ends of the pitch, we need to... Between the boxes, I think we've been fairly okay for, for a while now, but we need to make sure that we, we become kings of the penalty areas and make sure we, like I say, we defend our box with our lives and, and make sure we convert at the other end. And if we do, then uh, hopefully our process and our, our performances will result in, um, in some wins.